Enter into the world of L36 and dive into the power of storytelling. We bring together a community to discover what captivating tales can teach us and use the adventure to inspire greater insight into mental well-being. Join us for an enriching exploration. The Jedi Handbook. What to expect when you finally get your hands on a copy. Greetings Star Wars fans and curious minds alike. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we venture into a galaxy far, far away as we unveil an intriguing new resource, the Jedi Handbook. This comprehensive tome offers invaluable insights into the enigmatic Jedi Order and the mystical force that binds the galaxy together. In this video, we'll traverse the pages of this revered guide, unearthing the ancient wisdom of the Jedi from their deep connection to the Force to the art of meditation and mindfulness. Join us, Padawans, as we delve into the secrets of the Jedi and discover how their teachings can illuminate our paths in this galaxy. Ready to become a Jedi Master? Hit that subscribe button and join us on our journey through the Jedi Handbook. Chapter 1 In Chapter 1 of the Jedi Handbook, titled The Way of the Force, we dive into the fundamental principles that define the Force, including the opposing yet interwoven concepts of the light and dark sides. The light side represents benevolence, compassion, and selflessness, while the dark side is associated with aggression, fear, and selfishness. One memorable scene from Star Wars Episode V, The Empire Strikes Back, illuminates this dichotomy when Yoda tells Luke, a Jedi uses the Force for knowledge and defense, never for attack. Balance and order are central themes in understanding the Force. Achieving equilibrium between the light and dark sides is crucial for maintaining harmony in the universe. As Obi-Wan Kenobi once said, The Force is what gives the Jedi his power. It's an energy field created by all living things. It surrounds us and penetrates us. It binds the galaxy together. This idea of interconnectedness resonates not only within the Star Wars universe, but also in the realm of philosophy and modern physics. The notion that all things are connected has roots in ancient wisdom, which teaches that the entire universe is an intricate web of relationships. Moreover, the cutting-edge field of string theory in physics proposes that everything in the universe is composed of tiny vibrating strings, further emphasizing the interconnectedness of all things. As we explore Chapter 1 of the Jedi Handbook, we gain a deeper appreciation for the complex and interconnected nature of the Force. By understanding the light and dark sides, balance, and the interconnectedness of all things, we not only gain insight into the Star Wars universe, but also find inspiration for navigating our own lives with wisdom and harmony. Chapter 2 Moving on to Chapter 2, the Jedi Code delves into the code of conduct that governs the behavior of Jedi, emphasizing principles like compassion, honesty, self-discipline, and a commitment to the greater good. Throughout the Star Wars films, we can find numerous examples of these principles in action. Compassion is a cornerstone of the Jedi Code, as we witness it in Star Wars Episode IV, A New Hope, when Luke Skywalker and Obi-Wan Kenobi rescue Princess Leia from the Death Star. Obi-Wan's words to Luke embody this value. The Force will be with you, always. This scene demonstrates that Jedi are dedicated to helping others, even at great personal risk. Honesty is another essential principle. In Star Wars Episode I, The Phantom Menace, Qui-Gon Jinn exhibits honesty when he admits to the Jedi Council that he took a gamble on Anakin Skywalker, believing the boy to be the Chosen One. His candid confession demonstrates the importance of truthfulness in the Jedi Order. Self-discipline is exemplified by Yoda's training of Luke Skywalker in Star Wars Episode V, The Empire Strikes Back. Luke undergoes rigorous physical and mental exercises to harness the Force, reflecting Yoda's famous quote, do or do not, there is no try. This highlights the commitment to perseverance and self-control required of Jedi. Lastly, commitment to the greater good is exemplified by the sacrifices made by the protagonist throughout the saga. One example is in Star Wars Episode VI, Return of the Jedi, when Luke surrenders to Darth Vader to save his friends and bring balance to the Force. His selfless act showcases the Jedi's dedication to putting the needs of the galaxy before their own. In this chapter, it becomes evident that the Jedi Code serves as a crucial guide for Jedi, influencing their behavior and convictions. By analyzing instances from the Star Wars movies, we acquire a profound comprehension of the significance of empathy, truthfulness, self-restraint, and dedication to the greater good, not just for the Jedi, but also as a source of motivation for our personal lives. Chapter 3 in Chapter 3, Lightsaber Combat, we explore the art of wielding the iconic weapon of the Jedi Order, with a focus on both defensive and offensive techniques. 
Though Jedi are known as peacekeepers, understanding the dynamics of violence is crucial for maintaining balance and order in the galaxy. The knowledge of combat allows Jedi to protect themselves and others from harm, serving as a deterrent against potential aggressors. In Star Wars Episode II, Attack of the Clones, we see the importance of lightsaber combat during the Battle of Geonosis, where Jedi use their skills to defend themselves and rescue Obi-Wan, Anakin, and Padme from certain doom. As Mace Windu once said, this party's over, emphasizing the Jedi's ability to swiftly end conflicts and restore peace. In real-life history, there are examples of peaceful warriors who were also fierce fighters when necessary. The samurai of feudal Japan embodied the concept of Bushi no Nasaki, the compassion of a warrior, which required them to show mercy and benevolence even while being proficient in martial arts. Similarly, the Shaolin monks of ancient China honed their fighting skills to protect their monasteries and maintain harmony in their communities. By examining Chapter 3 of the Jedi Handbook, we come to appreciate the importance of mastering lightsaber combat, not only as a tool for self-defense, but also as a means to preserve peace and justice throughout the galaxy. This understanding can inspire us to develop our own skills and resilience while remaining compassionate and dedicated to the greater good. Before we move on to Chapter 4, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your fellow Padawans. Chapter 4 In Chapter 4, Meditation and Mindfulness, we delve into the essential practices that enable Jedi to focus their minds and connect with the Force. Meditation and mindfulness are key components of Jedi training, as they foster self-awareness, emotional balance, and mental clarity. Throughout the Star Wars movies, we witness the transformative power of meditation and mindfulness. One notable example is in Star Wars Episode V, The Empire Strikes Back, when Luke Skywalker trains with Yoda on Dagobah. As Luke meditates and connects with the Force, he gains profound insights into his own abilities and the nature of the galaxy. Yoda's guidance, concentrate, feel the Force flow, emphasizes the importance of mindfulness in harnessing the Force's power. Relating this to real-life meditation practices, many people experience similar moments of clarity, self-discovery, and inner peace through mindfulness and meditation. Renowned meditation teacher and Star Wars fan Jeff Warren often draws parallels between Jedi training and meditation, highlighting the shared emphasis on cultivating focus, compassion, and a deep connection with the world around us. By exploring Chapter 4 of the Jedi Handbook, we gain a deeper appreciation of the vital role meditation and mindfulness play in the lives of Jedi and the development of their powers. These practices not only enhance our understanding of the Star Wars universe, but also offer valuable lessons for cultivating self-awareness, inner peace, and a sense of interconnectedness in our own lives. Chapter 5 Finally, in the last chapter, The Path of the Jedi, we examine the journey of becoming a Jedi, which involves overcoming numerous challenges and sacrifices, as well as the rewards that come from serving others and upholding the ideals of the Jedi Order. Being in service to others presents its own set of challenges, as seen in Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. Anakin Skywalker faces a difficult choice between his personal desires and his commitment to the Jedi Order when he is asked to betray his friend, Chancellor Palpatine. Obi-Wan Kenobi's words, only a Sith deals in absolutes, reminds us that the path of a Jedi is filled with nuance and difficult decisions in service to the greater good. Despite these challenges, there are significant rewards to be found in dedicating oneself to helping others. Research on the helper's high phenomenon suggests that the acts of service can lead to increased happiness, well-being, and a sense of purpose. In Star Wars Episode 6, Return of the Jedi, Luke Skywalker experiences the satisfaction of helping redeem his father, Darth Vader, and restoring balance to the Force, demonstrating the immense rewards that come from selflessness and service. Chapter 5 of the Jedi Handbook teaches us that the path of the Jedi is not an easy one, but it is a journey filled with meaning and purpose. By embracing the challenges and rewards of service to others, we can draw inspiration from the Jedi Order and strive to make a positive impact on the world around us. To sum it up, the Jedi Handbook is more than just a guidebook, it's a path to enlightenment. This ancient tome holds the secrets of the Jedi Order, guiding us towards becoming not just skilled warriors, but compassionate and wise leaders. Through the teachings of the Force, the Jedi Code, and lightsaber combat, we are empowered to become our best selves. We learn to find balance, cultivate discipline, and serve others with selflessness and integrity. And through the practice of meditation and mindfulness, we connect with the universe and tap into our inner strength. 
The journey to becoming a Jedi is not an easy one, but it is a path of great reward. By living by the Jedi Code, we not only become more powerful, but we also become beacons of hope in a galaxy of darkness. So, if you're ready to unlock your full potential and join the ranks of the Jedi, the Jedi Handbook is your guide. Thanks for joining us on our journey through the galaxy. Remember to follow us for more content like this. And may the Force be with you, always.